What's going on ladies and gentlemen, hope you guys are having a great day as usual. So for this video guys, I'm going to be reacting to Transformers Prime Season 3 Episode 10. Before we jump into the video, I'm just going to need you to hit the like button because it helps the channel and the video grow a lot. Enough talking, let's jump into the video. I'll have a little discussion after. Let's go. Simply put, this combination of elements could allow us to cyberform entire worlds. Ugh, why do I feel a shockwave plan coming on? Do not think for a moment, Starscream, that it has gone unnoticed that you left me at the mercy of the Autobots. Master! Are you going to allow one lieutenant to harm another? Master? I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs> I am tempted to force you to share my perception of things. No! I only did what I thought was best for the mission. But I do feel compelled to add that it was my very error in judgment that made this happy accident possible. If I recollect, you were seeking to purge your laboratory of sensitive materials before the Autobots arrived, were you not? Your argument is logical. Exemplary teamwork. Now tell me, Shockwave, why does this cyber matter resemble chaos? The basic elements are apparently unstable. I will turn my attention to correcting that. <sighs> Nevertheless, should we use this cyber matter to restore Cybertron or Cyberform Earth, we would require a launch mechanism, would we not? Then we will focus all our remaining resources upon the successful reconstruction of the Omega Lock. <laughs> I've done everything I can, considering the limitations of my equipment and less than ideal spare parts. It remains uncertain if Ultra Magnus's new appendage will be fit for battle, though it should prove functional after the requisite amount of therapy. That is all we can hope for, old friend. You doing okay? I'm still two-fisted. So's Magnus. Wait and see. The claw is going to become his signature. You know, like the way you own that voice box Ratchet slapped in your throat? I mean, you know, everyone understands you fine. Why would you even consider getting it fixed now, all right? Whoa, what'd he say? B's kind of still attached to the sound of his own voice, his original one. Hey, look at the bright, shiny side. Commander Magnus and Jackie single-handedly put the kibosh on Project Predacon. Though at least one beast that we know of remains. The one who has demonstrated the ability to transform. Yep. Predaking. We will soon plot our strike against the Autobots to punish them for the massacre of your kind. While I fully intend to exact my revenge, Project Predacon was merely a squadron, not an army. I see. My liege, if you truly aspire to restore our homeworld, then I have every faith that you will resurrect the entirety of the Predacon race from the remains which lie there, so that I may lead them against any and all of our shared enemies. We 
we salvaged much of the wreckage of the Omega Lock, but the damage was quite severe. I would urge the selective use of Earth technology. Retrofitting its operating systems will be more efficient than rebuilding from scratch. Then do provide Starscream with your wish list. Since Shockwave must turn his attention <clears throat> to the stabilization of our cyber matter, you will be in charge of acquisitions. Prime! We have trouble brewing. The Khan staged a smash and grab at the Los Alamos nuclear plant late last night and made off with 20 tons of control rods. What are the Decepticons looking to build? Lord Megatron, I have determined that the synthetic energon formula provided by Knockout is the source of the instability, simply because it is incomplete. Then make haste and complete it. We will not only require enough cyber matter to rebuild one planet, but to remake a second. Master, excuse my impudence, but what is the logic behind ruling two worlds? It has taken me quite some time to fully comprehend that Earth and Cybertron have always been linked. Two halves of one whole, Primus and Unicron. What? And that to rule only one would be to never truly rule either. Prime! It's Khan's again. In progress this time. Coordinates received, Agent Fowler. Let's roll. Yep, yep. Your ability to roll remains predicated upon further exploration of your manual dexterity. I'm afraid that Ratchet's authority supersedes my own in medical matters. <sighs> Understood. Reopen the ground bridge, but ensure that the humans are kept at a safe distance, for we will be returning with a Decepticon prisoner. Because we have the foresight to shield our new base, our captive will be unable to transmit his coordinates to the Decepticon warship. Nor will they in turn be able to pinpoint his location. Guess we have all the time in the world to make Mr. Personality tell us everything he knows. The Khan's surveillance chief must know a lot, right? But Soundwave doesn't speak. Does he? I'm not sure he even has a face. With Laserbeak unable to triangulate Soundwave's current location, are you not concerned about what our comrade might spill? Of one thing I'm certain. Soundwave knows when to impart information, and when to withhold it. Why is Megatron stealing human technology? 
What is he attempting to build? Why, why, why is Megatron stealing human technology? Why, why, what is he attempting to build? To, to build. Whoa. Optimus Prime the Remix. Oh, yeah? Why don't I wipe that smile right off his face? <laughs> Soundwave, we have treated you fairly. For the sake of the natives of this planet, tell us what Megatron is attempting to build before we are forced to rely upon less civil methods of interrogation. <laughs> Soundwave is no ordinary Cybertronian, inside or out. So I would strongly suggest opening him up so we can have a first-hand look at the information recorded on his drives. Uh-oh. All right, he's downloading data. No, Soundwave is erasing data. Soundwave superior, Autobots. Inferior. Is he...? His vital signs remain functional. It seems he has simply severed all communications by crashing his own drives. Lord Megatron. I have located the one item upon this world which possesses enough raw tonnage to power the reconstructed Omega Lock, a particle collider synchrotron. Excellent, Shockwave. However, the successful completion of the synthetic Energon formula is proving to be far more difficult than anticipated. Knockout first procured this unfinished shamble from the Autobot medic, did he not? That is my understanding. Then the most efficient means to an end may very well be to recruit that medic. Attempting to abduct the one Autobot who rarely leaves their base. A base we have yet to locate it may prove to be a challenge. You forget that we currently have an agent within the Autobot Whoa. base. Laserbeak could reconnect with Soundwave and upload his directive to him. Which would still require knowing the location of their base. It is my understanding that Soundwave kept surveillance records of more than just the human children. Prime! These recent con heists have General Bryce breathing down my neck. So I gotta get back to the barbecue today for another grilling. Understood, Agent Fowler. And rest assured, should our prisoner return online, we will resume our interrogation. Sounds like a plan. I'll get back to base as soon as possible. You summoned me, Lord Megatron. I require your services. Since we anticipate an Autobot presence at our next event, I welcome any opportunity to face the Prime again, warrior to warrior. You pride yourself on your evolution, yet you have learned nothing. I may have lost my surveillance chief today. The Autobots have expanded their forces, while ours continue to dwindle. Then I shall simply battle twice as fiercely as a beast. I'm on my way to the base, but I just got word. The Khan's busted into the Solaris Particle Collider Project at the South Pole. Autobots? What? Yep, yep. Doc, the commander's ready. <laughs> fine, fine. Bulkhead, smokescreen, remain here with Ratchet to guard our prisoner. Everyone else, transform and roll out. Can't we throw a tarp over him? He's creeping me out. 
Yeah, it's like he's watching, no matter where you go. Would both of you stop focusing on what Soundwave can or cannot see and help me figure out what he did not tell? Like why Megatron would be interested in something believed to generate enough power to create a black hole. So Megatron's looking to swallow up the known universe. And everything in it. No, no! He would merely want to harness the power of something capable of swallowing worlds in order to create one. Oh, my. Optimus, I know this hardly seems the time, but it may aid you in your task. Go ahead. I believe that Megatron may be attempting to rebuild the Omega Lock. Do we let him? No, for you know as well as I that Megatron will use a reconstructed lock to cyberform both Cybertron and Earth. And that is one abuse of power that we cannot allow. <sighs> Understood. The Decepticons must not be allowed to secure their target. I will engage the Predacon. You heard your leader. Forge ahead. Let's go. One on one.
coming. You think? Ratchet, it may not be with the Forge or the Omega Lock, but we're gonna find a way to get our planet repaired. believe what is happening i cannot wait to see next week's episode guys let me know i'm just gonna keep this one short and sweet because these last two episodes have been great honestly and they've just advanced the story so much so much is just going on let me know what you guys think in the comment section hit the like button if you enjoyed the video because it helps the channel and the video grow a lot i'm super excited to see how this all ends out so um no spoilers in the comment section <clears throat> like i said i'm gonna wrap this video up so take care of yourself stay safe because it's a crazy world and there are a lot of crazy people. But most importantly, guys, you already know by now. Peace.